Networking. It's the way computers exchange information around the world. And just like the burrito, its architecture is abstracted into seven layers based on the open systems interconnection model. At the bottom, we have physical hardware, like fiber optic cables that literally carry light from point A to point B. Somehow, this light travels all the way to layer seven, where it can be transmitted directly into your consciousness in the form of pixels on a screen or vibrations from a speaker. That's exactly what you're doing right now as an end user accessing this video over the hypertext transfer protocol. In addition to HTTP, there are many other protocols at layer seven, like SMPT for email or FTP for file transfers. Now let's work our way backwards to understand how we got here. Layer six is the presentation layer, and essentially it works as a translator to ensure that a stream of bits from a computer, like a JPEG image, is encoded to a standard format that can be used at the application layer. Below that, we have the session layer, which is responsible for managing the connection between two computers. It's here we have things like user authentication and authorization to control whether or not a user has access to data on a server. We've all been on a Zoom call where some random person joins and shares their unsolicited artwork. They manage to authenticate on Zoom servers by exploiting layer five. And that brings us to the middle of the stack, the transport layer. The Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP, is the foundation for pretty much everything we've looked at so far. Its job is to take a stream of data from one computer and transfer it to another. It determines how to segment the data into smaller pieces that can be sent over the network in the correct order. It receives the data from layer four, the network layer, in the form of packets. It's here we find the internet protocol. Every computer connected to the network has its own unique IP address, which identifies that computer. And whenever it sends information over the network, it does so in the form of an IP packet that contains that address in the header. A packet is just a unit of data along with some information about who sent it. This happens from a router or gateway, which connects to layer two, the data link, and its role is to connect one physical node in the network to another via protocols like ethernet or Wi-Fi. And that is how over 2.5 quintillion bytes of data are shared around the world every single day. This has been networking in 100 seconds. If you want to see more short videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. And now a quick word from our sponsor. Taco Bell 7-Layer Burritos, just 99 cents!